Recap in minutes. In today's video, we will be enjoying a horror action film, entitled Redcon 1. There will be spoilers ahead, chill out and enjoy. The movie begins as the radio broadcasts breaking news. The news says there is a riot in a certain prison involving 600 inmates. Moreover, this guy is reported to be armed and quite dangerous. In the following picture, medical personnel is treating a severely injured woman inside a moving ambulance. The woman is covered in blood and is struggling for her life. However, the cardiac monitor sounds just as they are about to arrive at the hospital, suggesting that the woman is already dead. The hospital staff member abruptly opens the ambulance door and discovers a growling female zombie. This proves that a virus has spread from the prison, turning people into zombies. War has been declared against zombies all across the globe, and as a result, the end of the human species is possible. In the subsequent act, a military officer discusses the incident in prison. He warns that it is extremely risky to enter the quarantine areas. They predict, however, that after 72 hours, the quarantine areas will be useless, and the disease will spread everywhere. The general adds that the infection also results in extremely aggressive persons. Additionally, he claims that the virus can spread through blood and entirely take over a person's body in as little as 30 to 6 hours. The general claims that the scientist known as Dr. Rains is their last, best chance of finding a cure in time to preserve humanity. The general challenge of the special forces is to locate and rescue Dr. Rains before the quarantine zones are totally blasted out, despite the fact that Dr. Rains may have been split up into four separate areas. In the next sequence, the special forces begin their mission and assess the city. They pass dead bodies in the streets. Special forces allowed zombies to develop suddenly. The special forces brace themselves and shoot at the zombies before they reach them. As the zombies approach, soldiers must fight in melee combat. The soldiers' close quarters martial arts skills save them. Given the number of zombies, special forces should retreat. Captain Stanton instructs the squad to retreat and regroup at a nearby structure. Eventually, the military base appears. The general says zombies gain consciousness in laboratory studies. As time passes, zombies get stronger and smarter, making them harder to defeat. Special forces barely escape the last attack and find a truck. They move through the city until a gang member points a gun at them. Captain Stanton leads the special forces toward the quarantine zone to reach their target. As they enter, zombies strike. Soldiers shoot them. Each special forces member uses weapons and fists to cut, punch, and stab zombies as they advance. A soldier detonates a device after the shooting. Corporal Jake Gallagher is captured by the surviving zombies. Jake kills zombies while being wounded. Jake says to leave him alone because he's infected and will die shortly. Lieutenant Perez believes they're wasting their time and should leave Jake before he harms them. Perez shoots at Jake while the special forces shoot at Perez. Captain Stanton calls a halt. Bolden shoots himself, knowing his fate to avoid causing issues for the squad. Dr. Rains is still missing 48 hours before the quarantine zones are destroyed. Following, it reveals that criminals and gangs dominate quarantine zones. While infected numbers rise, their fallen comrade can be seen. One gang member blames a soldier. The gang leader wants revenge for his friend. Special forces relax at night to find even a small piece after a hard day. In the morning, they give their respect to their comrade who died yesterday. After the sad farewell, the soldiers have no choice but to continue the mission. They desperately hope to find Dr. Reynas when going to the next destination. While walking, the soldiers smell a very bad odor. They later realize it's coming from the sea of dead bodies right before them. Suddenly, Lieutenant Lau spots a military vehicle coming toward them. They realize that the truck is full of zombie soldiers. Captain Stanton commands the team to stay down because they cannot risk wasting any more bullets. The team pretends to be dead as they lie on the ground. However, the zombie soldiers recognize one of the special forces and take private bursting with them. This reveals that the zombies are now getting smarter as they learn to make decisions stick together and organize themselves. Subsequently, zombie soldiers capture uninfected humans and stick them together in a zombie military base after being kidnapped and placed in a crate. Bernstein sees Reigns. He phones Captain Stanton to tell him. Captain Stanton claims special forces will arrive soon. Per Captain Stanton, special forces successfully entered the undead military base despite being outnumbered. Captain Stanton orders the others to watch outside as he enters. He says they must evacuate Dr. Reigns. However, Dr. Reigns refuses and takes his gun. The soldiers compel the doctor to escape with them. 
Lau claims they couldn't leave the survivors when they asked about their safety. Perez dislikes bringing survivors. After rescuing survivors, special forces are shot at by zombie soldiers. They're trading firepower with zombies. Special forces intend to contain zombie soldiers while clearing a corridor for survivors and protecting Dr. Reigns. Lau tries to defend the doctor, but he's bitten and infected. Lau fights passionately, knowing he will die shortly. Two sisters join the special forces to fight zombies. In the jungle, Perez argues with the white-haired soldier named Gonzalez Gonzalez. He asks Perez where their comrades are, however, he lies, saying that they did not make it out. He says they need to betray their comrades and focus on the mission if they want to survive. Gonzalez says they should go back to rescue their comrades, but Perez gets angry and grabs Gonzalez on his hairy chest. Meanwhile, Captain Stanton and others remain on the battlefield. Lau says they should leave him alone because the virus has already infected him. With a sad heart, Captain Stanton and the other survivors leave Lau with honor. On the other side, Perez leads the faction of the special forces. Suddenly the gang people spot the soldiers and go to tell their boss, while escaping, they are greeted by two humans seeking help. However, instead of helping them, Perez kills both of them. Angry, Sergeant Reeves fights Perez in melee combat. However, he is eventually overpowered. While fighting, Reeves is shot by the gang members. The special forces take their guns to fight them. Not long after, one of the gang members finds Reeves's skull making him die of a headshot. Fortunately, Perez takes hold of his machine gun and manages to kill some of the gang members. They then go to the laboratory for arrest. Seeing the test subject, Perez realizes that the perpetrator of the viral outbreak is Dr. Reigns himself, as he is the one who has been experimenting with the prisoners back then. Angry Perez kicks Dr. Reigns making him fall to the ground. Still not finished. The others get angry and start beating the doctor badly. Bernstein reiterates that they need the doctor alive, and there is no need to kill him. However, Gonzalez hits him in the face so badly. Suddenly, Captain Stanton comes into the scene with two others, and the commotion has stopped. Angry about the betrayal earlier, Captain Stanton confronts Perez, who says that the general put him on the team for a reason. It is because he believes that Captain Stanton is a weak leader. Captain Stanton punches him in the face making him fall as they engage in melee combat. Captain Stanton overpowers Perez, making him helpless. Fortunately, Gonzalez comes and stops the bloody fight. After calming down, Captain Stanton dares the team to lock Perez up. Meanwhile, Captain Stanton interrogates Dr. Reigns to get information. It reveals that the military ordered Dr. Reigns to develop a medicine that would make the soldiers physically stronger to get an advantage in combat. However, it backfires as it becomes a zombie outbreak, and Captain Stanton's wife is also one of the victims. A lady soldier named Sergeant Page confides to her boyfriend Gonzalez that the virus has infected her during the battle. Knowing the information, Gonzalez takes the gun to attempt to kill Page before she becomes a zombie, but he cannot do so. Instead, he comes for a hunt and starts tongue massaging Page even though he knows that he will become infected to meanwhile, even though angry and interrogating, Captain Stanton encourages Dr. Reigns to save humanity. After a while, Gonzalez and Page tried to escape with Dr. Reigns in hopes of carrying them confronted by Captain Stanton. The doctor says he could not hear the couple anymore because they were already too far out. Suddenly, the gang members come to the scene and start shooting. The special forces successfully escape as they go to the car to drive away. Infected Gonzalez and Paige are dropped midway. The little survivor and the team wish them farewell. Meanwhile, the infected couple visits a theme park. Military helicopters rescue the surviving special forces. Dr. Reigns offers Captain Stanton an answer-filled diary. The general greets the special forces after landing. Perez and other general soldiers point their firearms. Unarming Captain Stanton. The general employs Perez. The general shoots the doctor, killing him. Captain Stanton questioned the general about killing the doctor. The general says the doctor killed his kid for revenge. Captain Stanton asks about the cure, but the general admits he lied to get revenge. The general blackmails Bernstein into providing intelligence. Bernstein switches sides since the general has his parents. Captain Stanton apologizes. Satisfied with his retribution, the general plans to desert the special forces, including the kid survivor. Angry at the general's betrayal, Perez murders one of his soldiers. The general shoots Perez in the chest as he comes to rescue Captain Stanton. Perez's bulletproof muscles shield Captain Stanton from the enemy's gun. As the chopper leaves the zombies to chase the special forces, Perez stays behind to combat the swarm, but he is overrun and eaten. 
He saved the team while being selfish. The quarantine zones will be destroyed in 18 hours. Stanton abandons Bernstein after his betrayal. Captain Stanton realizes the young survivor Scar could infect her with the virus. He can't murder the child. The group captured Captain Stanton and the youngster and plans to kill either one. Captain Stanton chooses to leave the quarantine zone with the child and forge cooperation with the gang members near the border after one of the gang members recognizes the child's necklace. Captain Stanton reads the doctor's journal while waiting. After examining the bite marks on the child, Captain Stanton asks the child if she has been bitten by the zombies before, and the child replies yes. This makes him think that the child is immune from the virus. Curious, Captain Stanton looks again at the journal to find some answers. It is revealed that just like her father, the child is immune from the virus, and she is one of the keys to developing a cure. Suddenly, the general contacts Captain Stanton, and he explains to the general everything about the child. Ending the conversation, Captain Stanton goes to the border, even with the danger of the military hunting them. After a while, they encounter the remaining survivors and Bernstein from earlier. On the other side, the general injects medicine into him to make him physically stronger. The survivors agree to assist Captain Stanton in crossing the border after he explains the military's plan to bomb the quarantine zone. Soon, they are joined by the game, which opts to help them as they battle a sea of zombies at the border. The battle ended in a bloody fight and infected Captain Stanton as a zombie from behind bites his neck. Unable to fight, Captain Stanton decides to take the child survivor to safety. Not long after, they find a safe place inside an empty building. The child tries to console Captain Stanton as best as she can, but it's too late. To ensure the hopes of mankind and the cure. Captain Stanton interests the journal to the child for her to protect. After a while, Captain Stanton loses consciousness and starts turning into a zombie. Captain rises and lifts the child threatening to hurt her. Fortunately, he stopped hurting the child as he remembered some memories. The team now attempts to cross the border. While crossing it, the general appears and orders his troops to kill everyone. However, a fight between the general and the zombie captain emerges, and after a fast and furious battle between the two strong men, Captain Stanton eventually overpowers the general. In the aftermath, Bernstein executes Captain Stanton based on mercy, and the child survivor is finally freed from the quarantine zone. The movie ends with Captain Stanton finally reuniting with his dead wife. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this and help the channel grow.